decide who she should go out with. We're going to meet her right now. She describes herself as loud, spunky, very intelligent. She dates about twice a week, and she rates herself a 20. Uh, she says that she's made a change in the kind of men she goes out with. Please welcome Dinah, 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 Diana, Dinah, Dina. That's what, thank you, Dina. Oh, we got it, Dina. Yeah, well, as long as I can pull it back together eventually, have a seat. It's hard to, it's hard to even think about sitting and talking to a 20. <laughs> how, how do you say your last name? I have Atamian. Atamian, so I did get that right. Yeah. Uh, tell me about this change in men. Um, when I went to college, it seemed that every guy I dated uh, didn't, definitely did not have any money to go out on dates. I, there was like a club of men that got together that parents did not give them money. And they kind of like elected me president to take them out. So I was. So you sprung for all these guys? Exactly, in exactly. Now it's like my only criteria when I go out on a date is to make sure that they're like they employed. Pay. No, that they're employed. Oh, well, you'll still no, pay. No, no, I'll go halfers with them, but just make sure they're employed so that they can pay yeah. every now and then. What do you What do you think in in the men like most about you? <laughs> um, I'm a very straightforward person. I don't lie. I'm very blunt and to the point. Um, physically, if I had to choose, I'd say it'd be my athletically perky breast check. That would be it. Well, on that note, we're going to show you the portions of the videotapes that Dina saw. Remember that she agreed to let the, the audience choose her date, so watch very carefully. First, it was Eric. On a scale of 1 to 10, he rates himself a 10 because he believes that he's cute, witty, and intelligent. He enjoys jazz concerts and chewing tobacco. There's a combination. And there's something else that he likes. I like women that, you know, when they have it, they like to flaunt it sometimes, and they're able to do so with confidence. And they exude an air of, like, you know, if they're attracted to me, they, they'd let me know and would... And flaunt whatever they have in, in, a, in, a, in a good way. Next there's Chuck. Now, Chuck's got degrees up his arm. He's got him in zoology and psychology. He says that uh, his recent dates were good, but he doesn't think that any of them will lead to anything. And Chuck told us about his plans for the future. Get into pharmacy school, uh, graduate, uh, and get my career going in that, as well as find a mate. Um, and have a family and, you know, the American dream, own a house and, you know, have the dog and the picket fence and the whole bit. <laughs> Finally, Kenneth says the three things that he likes best about himself are his eyes, his pecs, and his tan. And he claims that women like his muscles and his, quote, universal knowledge of the world. And uh, here's what he notices first about women. <laughs> I noticed, uh, I don't know why, I noticed the bosom first. But if um, she isn't appropriately dressed to be able to notice it, then, you know, you notice the face and then the rest of the figure. But I, I like a voluptuous sort of woman, you know, not too uh, bony. Not something that's going to sound like a game of Yahtzee when you're rolling around in bed. Well, you've met Dina and her perky athletic breasts. <laughs> so anyway, you see your three choices. But pick who you would like to send her out with. You ready to take a look and see who, uh, who you're going to go out with? Um, sure. Okay, here we go. They cho chose Kenneth, 55%, as a matter of fact. So. See you back in a few weeks. You can tell us about that. That's our show for today. We'll be back next time with more singles trying to make a love connection. Till then, I'm Chuck Woolery. I hope all your dates are good ones. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>